Hello everyone, and welcome back to Investing Guide, a portal with a team of highly experienced professionals who provides in-depth information on basically everything concerning trading and analysis of cryptocurrencies, blockchain tech, protocol distribution, and it's called Coin Bureau, has some takes on why 2022 is going to be the year of the Cardano bull market. What could these experts have to say? Well, recently the infamous crypto portal gave reason to believe that the price of Cardano ADA will actually recover from its recent losses and bounce back to its initial pride in months to come. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look about Coin Bureau on why 2022 will be the year of the Cardano bull market. You better stick around until the end of this one because you're not going to want to miss out on what the professionals of Coin Bureau have to say on 2022 being the year of the Cardano bull market. Before we begin, if you like this type of content, well, just know that we've taken our time to filter relevancies from irrelevancies just to provide reliable and updated information on Cardano. So stick around and hit that like button, subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you never miss out on any new updates from the world of investing. Let's get started. The crypto market as a whole has been on the upward trend. Cardano ADA has recently been on a slightly upward trend too for the past few weeks, and it's currently hovering at around the 80 cent mark, meaning that Cardano is sitting as the 8th largest coin in terms of market cap at the time of this recording. Cardano ADA used to be at its all-time high back in September, but it's recently experienced an imbalance in rate and low rank, which has rather been disappointing. Although experts have been able to reasonably predict the fate of the coin, in the past few days the ADA token has maintained its rate and rank, and this stability has kept optimistic investors in faith that the coin will actually increase based on the long-term vision predicted by crypto professionals and others in doubt believe that the coin lacks what it takes to get back to its peak again. The disappointing trend of Cardano despite its blockchain technology has left potential holders with a lot of questions. One of which is Guy, an analysis of Coin Bureau and a popular YouTuber with 1.84 million subs, and he's taken to his channel to talk about Cardano. He stated, The good news is that there is several institutional funds that have ADA exposure, such as Grayscale's Digital Major Equity Fund, and a few of these funds have been accumulating ADA over the past few months. Many ADA D apps are scheduled to be commissioned in the coming months and these are likely to generate the demand ADA needs to reach its all-time previous highs. Finally, ADA's long-term technical data shows that it could rally as high as $4 in the coming months, assuming it can break through the $1.70 price resistance zone. Considering the high level of development and institutional ideas created by the technical team of Cardano, especially the lap of dApps which will specifically give the crypto platform utility and its long-term technical plan that will solve the future problems, these plans will possibly combine to prompt the skyrocketing value of the ADA token in 2022 due to the forthcoming milestones that Cardano has come for itself. As dreamy as this possibility is, Guy still thinks if necessary actions are not taken, the coin might fall back down to its low blow experience in 2020, and ADA is reportedly down 50% of its all-time high. Before we get into the full details as to why 2022 will be the year of the Cardano bull market, let's talk about the top strategic partnerships made by Cardano from late 2021 until now to generate funds for the platform as it affects its 2022's financial decisions. Sometime back in August 2021, the Cardano Foundation partnered with CoinFirm for Financial Action Task Force FATF, and 6AMLD compliance to track Cardano transactions. Meanwhile, the regulators were allegedly seen visiting companies regardless of the self-culture wallets because FATF is not a supporter of self-culture wallets. Estonia was supposedly the first country to ban crypto wallets due to the FATF's dystopian requests. In September 2021, many shocking announcements were made. Firstly, the functionality of the smart card was added to Cardano's blockchain due to the completion of the Alonso hard fork. Furthermore, the decision to make Chainlink the oracle of data for Cardano took many holders of both parties by utmost surprise due to the history between the two. Another shocking revelation of September was the partnership of Input Output Globals with one of the most popular telecommunications networks, Dish Network, with a net worth of roughly 17 billion US dollars. Cardano's ecosystem funds over a hundred million dollars, and that was announced by Emergo when other crypto platforms like Phantom brought their project fund to the public. 
In October of last year, the formation of a solid alliance with UTXO was announced by the IOG. UTXO uses the same transaction pattern as Cardano, IOG also announced its requirements for the smart certification, which will most probably be applied to Cardano dApps. Early December 2021 saw a decentralized exchange platform that enables the free flow of transactions with zero need for an intermediary called SundaySwap launched its testnet. Mid-December 2021, one of Cardano's DeFi systems came together to form an alliance to promote the development of dApps. In late December 2021, the creation of an NFT marketing platform called Fiberite was announced by Emergo. Since Cardano has a roadmap of five stages with its website, the reported Alonso hard fork that occurred in September stopped the era of Gorgoen focused on smart card performance. Developers of Cardano were reportedly working tirelessly on the two eras left for a while now, and these two eras are named Basho and Voltaire. Basho is said to apply to the scaling, while the latter, Voltaire, applies to the governing. Although there's no particular level of certainty on how far these have gone or where these errors will or will not go to complete their willingness to release a detailed roadmap on the errors, just like they did for Gogoen. It is known for a fact that the Basho era will be controlled by Hydra, which is an ultimate solution scaling layer for Cardano for over a year. One benefit of this era is the ability for operators of stake pools to securely carry out transactions off-chain, then proceed to submit on-chain with the help of complex cryptography, i.e. if a stake pool can process up to 1,000 transactions per second and Cardano has 3,000 stake pools, it will process about 3 million transactions per second after the completion of Hydra, and this is a huge benefit to the development of Cardano holders. The founder of Cardano, Charles Hoskinson, mentioned during one of his live sessions that Hydra is going to get completed in 2022 and possibly launched on one of the hard fork events scheduled in for February, June, and October. It's safe to assume that February is out of the question and June is a month to look forward to. Other milestones for Cardano to reach its bull market were mentioned by the IOG. The most interesting was the increment of the size of blocks of Cardano, which is a determining factor for fast sales out of cryptocurrencies, as Cardano is mostly criticized for being slow. This update will have a distinct impact on the utility and appeal of the coin to the market. Although these strategic technical improvements might seem all-time beneficial, the developers are aware of the major disadvantages of this upgrade, which is storage problems on devices. The solution or remedy to this challenge is unknown, but Guy suggested in his video saying, it will be awesome if Cardano choose our Weave to store its blockchain data the same way other cryptocurrencies have. Moving to the next era, Voltaire proposals are out regarding the era and its improvements. It's only a matter of time before it will either be accepted or rejected via on-chain voting. According to the coin analysis, Guy, he referred to the improvement that caught its attention the most is CIP30, which proposes to create an interactive medium for Cardano wallets and dApps. Another strategic partnership made by Cardano was with a decentralized platform that provides a digital platform for payment in organizations. This platform is called COTI, and it also provides a stable coin on the Cardano network called DJED, which will be a big deal in the crypto market. One unique importance of DJED is that it uses smart contracts to achieve price stabilization. Up next is Cardano's partnership with RegTech. The platform serves as the police of the operation. It monitors and secures every transaction carried out on cryptocurrencies, and it ensures that Cardano obeys the laid down rules and regulations of FATF. The platform stands to protect Cardano from regulatory inspection from government agencies. From the analysis made by Coin Bureau on why 2022 will be the year of the bull market for Cardano, it is believed that Cardano is on its way to building an empire of utility that will sustain, protect, and benefit holders of Cardano ADA. While you're still here, go ahead and click on one of these two videos on your screen. See you there!